Reverend Dr. Velma D. Stocks is actually my uncle. Um, he married my aunt, um, and my aunt is my mother's sister. And uh, I did not grow up in unity, but I grew up knowing Dr. Stocks. And it was only after I got into the ministry that I really understood that side of my uncle as far as it relates to the, uh, the church, the ministry, and the love of God. Uh, he was always intriguing to me. I remember when, um, when they were boycotting Fairlane um, because of some injustices that was going on at Dearborn at that time. And I remember the bomb threats that um, uh, my uncle had received. And uh, I remember when he, when they began to build uh, unity across the street from the bank building and um, how when I went down to the to the church to uh, to see it in the construction phase how we were walking across planks that were up in the air and um, you know I was always intrigued at the fact that you know my uncle did not necessarily have 2020 vision but yet he was able to see um, things that that just amazed me um, how he was able to envision the future for unity um, to go from a from a bank building to uh, to the first phase of unity because I believe we built they built the first part and then we put the other end on where the daycare and all that is, is at uh, at this point. Dr. Valvin D. Stotts, uh, pastor of Unity Baptist Church, for probably almost 50 years. Uh, was a tremendous, iconic pastor in Detroit. Uh, led a great congregation from a very small building to, uh, uh, to a very large and impressive uh, church and church family. Um, the Unity Baptist Church and Dr. Stotz's leadership uh, was uh, historic because uh, the Unity Baptist Church choir became uh, one of the uh, top choirs of this nation. My life has certainly been enriched by having the opportunity to know Dr. Stotts, a friend and a brother, someone that doesn't necessarily preach a ministry, someone that always lives the ministry. He has meant a lot to me in my life, and he has done so much in this city. I can remember vividly when he was in the bank building there across the street uh, on Tyreman. And I have seen him down through the years, uh, you know, as the Lord has blessed him, how he has helped so many people. I remember asking our pastor then across the street, you know what? I'd like to organize a youth choir. And I, when you organize a youth choir and you got all those young people, that would bring the parents and things. We can grow with just bringing the children, giving them a chance, because our children draws the, their parents. If they don't do nothing else, they'll follow their children. So at that point, uh, uh, he didn't see it was too good of an idea. But when Reverend Stotts came and we got started and we got busy and I, Asked him, Reverend Stotts, I'd like to organize a youth choir. And uh, he said, Sister Davis, or whatever you feel like doing it, Godspeed. And that's when we organized the little choir uh, of all ages. They would start almost at two years old on up. And uh, it was just beautiful because the parents start bringing the children and start coming. And, and I say maybe about three months. The little choir had been grown from two to 25. In 1963, uh, we came from the East Side Church of Our Fathers, where my mother and father grew up. Uh, from what I was told, my dad had been a Sunday school superintendent there. He taught Sunday school. He was over uh, a large youth group at that time, so he already had leadership skills. Uh, he had actually, he was an ordained minister at Church of Our Fathers, and he also um, performed weddings. 
and uh, perform ceremonies. And he was a preacher, uh, heard that uh, he could have people standing up even as a very young man over at Church of Our Fathers. Both of my grandparents, my mother's uh, mother and my father's mother sung in the choir there and they were very good friends like sisters. Uh, my father was also in BTU. Uh, that was At that time it was called Bible Training Union. My mother was a part of the BTU and she said she was also a part of the large youth group that my dad was in. He sung in the choir. He was an Ursha. Uh, already busy. Uh, my mother sung in the choir also, the young people's choir. Okay. When the Lord places on my heart, uh, I, I call Reverend, next Reverend. Reverend, do you want your name on a street, a place on the street sign on Tyman Avenue? He said yes. So about three weeks later, I brought it to the board of Dickens. We had a meeting and they said, okay. So, so I told them, I said, I don't want no uh, committee. I don't need no committee. And so as time passed by, a few days passed by, I talked to my wife about it and whatnot. Then some of the spirit told me, say, you should have a committee. So I picked two people. One person was Deacon Hankin, and the other person was Deacon Abbott. Deacon Hankin was real faithful. Every time I would call him, he would meet me down at the city county building. He never did miss, not one time. And uh, <clears throat> so we went and presented to the, 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 uh, the uh, uh, to down at, at the uh, Coleman Young uh, building at the uh, maintenance and sign division. And uh, <clears throat> it said, okay. As I remember, it was back in 1966 when I returned from California and I began to work in, working with uh, Deacon Cage with the sports ministry at Unity Baptist Church. And that invo involved me being quite uh, involved with the young people. And over the course of time, uh, we began to establish uh, youth meetings and Sunday school classes and uh, meeting with the young people during the week, taking them on various uh, field trips and retreats and, and so on. Um, we did that for a number of years, that's myself and my wife, and uh, a few years later, maybe 10 or 15 years after uh, basically just volunteering my time with the young people. Uh, they had designated me as the youth pastor of the, of the young people. Uh, under the leadership of Pastor Stotts, I've learned a great deal of how to share with young people and uh, a great deal of what it means to uh, sacrifice a lot of time. <laughs> 